Hey everybody, it's me, DJ Zodic. I just want to give a little update what I've been up to lately. Um, the first thing I have to say is that I took a little break. Well, not a little break, but a, a big break. Um, I took a break from June all the way to October. Uh, I was doing some side projects, but that was only personal uh, things. Um, I would like to say that I'm sorry if I've been now the you know production line and like not having produced videos or releasing any mixes during that time. Um, pretty much y'all had like got my last mix of the what was it? Chess's Hardstyle Session One. Got yeah, idea for the whole summer so everybody can download. Um, the reason why I decided to you know take a little break is because I was dealing with lots of drama issues with my family and also a couple of things on the side that was going on in the scene. Um, as most of y'all know, there was a girl who who passed away or killed herself or whatever she did. Uh, technically, she OD'd on a drug at a party in Houston, and I'm not gonna try to point any fingers because I'm not trying to cause any drama. But um, apparently, I don't know what happened, and I don't want to know what happened. But that's the reason why I took a break, cause you know, get away from all the drama and all the issues that was going on that time plus I was like getting emails from people to support them of this girl which I did for a little bit and I realized that what why the hell I'm doing this this is not even part of my problem this is their problem but I do feel sorry for the girl because she did something that she ain't supposed to be doing and also the people that's supposed to be controlling that type of environment at the party or the event supposed to be, you know martyred or that type of stuff you know no drugs on the property but they fell um, the parents did try to, you know, warn people about the people that threw that event at that time, but I'm not going to get into that because it's not part of my problem, man. Um, I do care, but sometimes I don't care because I don't want to be involved in something that's not partly my fault or that wasn't me in that type of situation. But anyways, um, I took a little break <clears throat> and... I uh, decided, you know, to focus on my job and also the things that have been going on. Um, most of y'all already know that I've been working a lot of hours at my job and I haven't been doing nothing, for, you know, being productive. And now since um, October came in out and I went back to my old hours again to work out 12 hours and working five days a week, meaning I can have certain days off, which today I got a day off, which is good because I'm actually getting some stuff done. Um, Uh, I'm actually getting this stuff uh, done. Uh, as most of y'all know, I released a, um, a teaser video of the Mad Hatter, Mad Hater Tea Party 11, the 11th anniversary of the party of by Area 512 Entertainment. Also, um, I'm gonna do a uh, side project of the video of Dead PA. Um, they're gonna do their own version of the video because I barely sent the videos to them. But I'm gonna do my own version, which is gonna be a live set like I did to Stevie Kiyoki and Ayoji, uh, which y'all have seen. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything special about it, just gonna do their you know, live set experience who missed out. So hopefully I get it done by end of November before December comes around. Same was with the, you know, that Mad Hater Tea Party video. Um, I do got some other side projects I'm working on. I am thinking about doing a hardstyle video in December. Um, while I'm working on the mix of Hardcore of Embrace Me 2, uh, most of you already noticed from the video teaser video I re released it already. Um, from the Embrace Me, I'm halfway finished, I just gotta change some few uh, tracks, and also I gotta like, um, how can I say, I gotta like take out most of the elements that I want in that mix because I want to save it for my other project for next year. Which I still don't know what I'm gonna name this track. Uh, I'm not coming out Critical Mass 2. Uh, that's gonna be a different thing. But the uh, different hardcore mix next year is gonna be really uh, mainstream kind of music mixed with the underground hardcore. But as the hardstyle mix, the uh, Your Prayer Dreams is gonna be you know typical hardstyle mix for the shufflers and all the old school hardstylers and stuff like that, or the new school hardstylers. Um, so it's gonna be like my, you know, comeback mix for next year, 2013. And speaking of 2013, I am taking gigs in middle of March, all the way to June, because I need to get my name out there more again. Even though I'm like releasing mixes out to the public on online to physical CDs with events, 
I still gotta do more to get myself out there. Um, I am getting back into producing music again. Right now I just had to get another sound card because the one I had earlier wasn't doing much. It wasn't pushing enough um, sound that I wanted in more cleaner detail when I export the sound than the sound I was getting from the producing software. Um, you must ask yourself, um, what kind of music you're producing? Hardstyle? Well, I gave it a lot of thought and I can't say it. I gave it a lot of thought about that. Um, there's lots of people who's doing hardstyle nowadays and there's less and lesser producers who's doing hardcore. Um, the only producers I can think of in here in America is like Delta 9, Lenny D, uh, DJ Mayhem, um, How Hard, Jimmy X, and that's it. That's the only hardcore DJs I know that still produce hardcore music here in America. And But you, you can name a ton of you know, hardstyle producers like Funky J, Plexus Zero, The Dark Starters from Colorado, which you got DJ Noel from San Antonio. So San Antonio. Um, DJ Sparkus, so he's getting into producing hardstyle music, and also um, a couple more people from Philadelphia and New York and New Jersey area, like DJ Venom. But when I was looking at this hardstyle music in producing way, I'm like, okay, what's hardcore? Because, you know, usually back then, in the old days in 2003, there was lots of hardcore DJs in America producing music. Um, but now I can't find them anymore because most of them like doing other things like dubstep or doing break music or or the new style of music that just came out a couple months ago called trap music and I'm kind of like <laughs> you know getting a mind fuck because like a couple months ago everybody's into dubstep now everybody's into trap music which is the same thing but with a little bit more of a hip hop element um but I'm gonna try to get back in hardcore music by next year I'm in I'm already working on two tracks Total Mayhem and another one which is called um damn a remix by DJ Zanny, which I'm doing a hardcore mix with a combinement of drum and bass, which people are calling it new style, I mean, it's new breed, where you can find drum and bass and hardcore put them together. You got new breed uh, sound, which I still like to call and call, you know, crossbreeding, where you crossbreed a you know, drum and bass and hardcore. But I'm still doing works right now. I'm still trying to get like you know software v uh, VST plugins and also trying to update my free loops and my Sodi Vega because there are new attachments on the software where I can like produce better sound and also it won't take up much of my processor because my computer is a quad core processor and I gotta update it to you know uh, eight core or seven core ADM AMD. Sorry, I'm not Intel kind of guy. But uh, also I gotta update my video card and also my RAM because I'm getting it like way behind. So bear with me next year. But um, that's my plans for next year to update my software, update my computer, update my sound, um, little sound studio thing, you know, which right here is not a studio. Um, Trying to catch up as much as possible around the scene. Also trying to get my name out there more by producing more mixed CDs. And also give out physical CDs. <sighs> you know, out there. Um, and meanwhile, I am going to try to like change my DJ setup. Uh, as most of y'all know, I've been posting pictures of the new controller that I saw that from Pioneer. The new uh, Pioneer DDJ SX. And I like that much. And also it's easy for me because I can like put that in the case, carry it with me, take it to the car, go somewhere with my gig, plug into the mixer and then psh, ready to spin. I like, you know, using a Serato box where I gotta like get behind a mixer with a flashlight, blind the DJ who's spinning, do a quick sound test of one channel, then I gotta hurry to do the second channel. Well after I already dropped the track when he got off, you know, connect my MIDI controllers, you know, or check if the CDJs are good. It, which half the time most of the CDGs I ran into is like no good even with the code CD that I got you know <laughs> it's lots of problems I had to deal with before I got to go on um, so I'm switching up to the DJ controller and that's the controller I'm gonna get so next year I'll be selling off my DJ equipment my mixer my two CDJs and maybe my mini pad that I got I'm like selling my control X1 because I love that controller a lot um, what else? Also, um, 
if you haven't, you know, checked my hardcore videos, which is gonna be right, right, right here, you're gonna probably see a box with a link of it, you know, me spinning hardcore. Uh, go ahead and click down there, and also I will produce a hardstyle video pretty soon in December, like I said before. But um, I keep y'all updated. If you never heard my music style before and you're watching this video or come across this video, um, please check me out. I'm a DJ from Central Texas area. Um, I do film, I do music, I do DJing, all that stuff. Um, but I'm doing it, you know, in Austin, Texas, or anywhere in Texas that's really the book of hardstyle and hardcore DJ. Um, especially what I've been doing lately. So. I'm gonna sign off and let y'all, you know, enjoy this video right here. Sorry, I'm looking at the camera the wrong way. Uh, also, you want to check out my latest mix, you can click the link down in the description box. Also, my Facebook page with DJ Zotic down there. Uh, well, I'm gonna sign out, get back on producing videos again, and trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for next year. And also, I might be booked for Happy Chronicles 6 next year in April. Um, April 20th, 2013. So go ahead and check that out by Airy512 on their website. Uh, also their event page, which they got already posted up, which I might put down in the description box. But um, we'll see you later, guys. Peace out.